Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 5 of my Sims 4 Lovestruck playthrough. I am super excited to get back into playing with Miss Willow Widow. And if you remember from the last episode, we had a little bit of trouble with both Leon and Panya. And so today I'm hoping to get that figured out or date someone new. Let's jump right back in. So if my audio is a little bit different in this episode, I have reconfigured my setup yet again. You know, stuff that comes with moving. But I am super happy to be continuing this series. It looks like Miss Willow has work in two hours. She's already studied modern love on the computer, so she is good to go. I am recording this episode before the previous one has been uploaded. So I still have not changed her aspiration. So I read on some forums that if your sim has like too many people that they're romantically involved with, they have to tell some of them to just be friends to be able to ask for like another romantic partner. So I don't know if that's something we can do with Leon. Maybe that's something that we could do. I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and have her go to work. And that way we can speed through this day and uh, get to what the pack's really about. Yay! The game is so loud. Unlike the end of the last episode, we did get a promotion. So she has been promoted to Emotional Health Counselor, where she will make an additional 16 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 80. And she received a consultant plaque decoration and 945 simoleons as a bonus. If you caught it, she did go ahead and pay her bills because I had a little pop-up that was like, hey, you have 24 hours. Ooh, a new daily task. Run emergency romance hotline on a computer. I want to do it. Career. Run emergency romance hotline. She's scared of the thunderstorm right now, but it'll be okay. Nice. Immediately when she starts working on this, it's flirty. It's always storming in this town. So maybe I will have her invite over Leon and we can tell them that we just want to be friends because things weren't working out very well for us. I will be right over. We need to invite them in. It doesn't look like we do. What if we ask about their romantic interests? Because maybe they're just not interested in us in that way. That lightning struck very close. Did it strike in the lavender? I have no idea. All right, so we've learned Leon's romantic interests. They are attracted to men. I don't know why they appeared in our Cupid's Corner then. To open Cupid's Corner when we can. I find it funny that they're attracted to men, but they were flirting with us. But it doesn't say anything about like asking to just be friends. All right, she's almost done with running the emergency romance hotline. It did work pretty well to get her romance skill up some too. It's almost to level nine. 93%. She wants to start a new relationship. That's what I'm trying to do. But yeah, she's romantically attracted to men. And she's looking for young adults and adults. So I have no idea how Leon ended up in our matches. Strange. Maybe we need to talk to some of the ghosts. Ask to create a hangout. Friendly hangout. We could also invite over Panya. So that maybe once we tell Ruben that we're cutting it off. We could ask Panya to be our romantic partner. Let's be friendly. Reminisce a little bit. It's raining, so I don't know that we want to star or cloud gaze. How about we be funny? And then we'll just stay here. There's Panya. So is it going to give us the option today? Change relationship. So that one says ask to just be friends. What about you? Change relationship. Asks to just be friends. So are y'all just going to be friends now? Okay, that's what she's doing. Willow Widow and Reuben Glenn have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. Cool. So now I can ask Anya. No! It's still not there. Do I need to also invite over, like, maybe Carlos? Okay, it stopped thunderstorming. Okay, we did get the gold. Just in time, we've got four minutes left. And she's super tired. I got a cherished memories portrait. I've gotten a lot of cherished memories portraits. 
I'm gonna have her go to sleep. It is like 3 a.m. basically. Who's this? Carlos. Relationship. Change relationship. Ask to just be friends. Can you go do that before he disappears? Oh. Where did he go? All fourth ghost. Can you do that? Stop walking away. Okay, cool. And then I want to... He's running away from it. Has to just be friends. And we have cooled off our romantic relationship. Nice. Uh, you can go back to bed now. I'm sorry. Once she's in bed, I will line up some things for her to get done. I'll have her take a steamy shower because it'll probably be good if she's in a flirty mood for her job. And then she also needs to do something fun. So maybe I'll have her get leftovers and watch romance TV. So now Carlos and Ruben both have no romance. It's just Norman and Grady that do. I will still have her go to work, but since she's got an hour until then, I'm going to wake her up, even though her energy's barely in the green, <laughs> and get her started on stuff that she needs to do. I did skip having her use the toilet because she can do that at work. Same with eating, really, but eating and sitting in front of the TV are things that can go together. Hey, where are you going? And there she goes. Off to work. Maybe we could invite over Pena. Oh, it's a heart now instead of the yellow. Um, invite over to current lot. We're just gonna keep trying. <laughs> Hello, Pena. Let's uh, embrace him. They're both very satisfied in their relationship. Great. Now I just need to uh, be able to ask him to be my partner or find someone else. So I can't even ask him to move in. It's gotta be something with him. Is there stuff that I don't know about you that I should know? If she wasn't so tired, I would have her go on another date. But maybe we could do that tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna have her get up just long enough that she can run the emergency hotline. And then I'm gonna have her go right back to sleep. She's gonna level up her skill, though. After she's done with this, I'm gonna have her go back to sleep so that she's well-rested for tomorrow and we can go on another date. All right, she's much better rested and up kind of early this morning. So let's go ahead and have her use the restroom like she needs to. And then we can figure out what other needs she needs taken care of, like food. Or get some leftovers. Or actually, why don't we serve breakfast again? We'll do a fruit salad this time. She got level 3 of the cooking skill. She can now make pan-fried tilapia, chocolate chip cookies, and pancakes. She can also talk about cooking with other sims. Nice. And it's just a normal quality fruit salad. But it is Harvest Fest today, which means she might not even have work. She does need to get her fun up, but maybe we can do that on a date. So I'm going to have her open Cupid's Corner, and we're going to pick someone else to go on a date with. Hmm. Maybe Gavin? We'll do a get to know you date, but we'll also be romantic. And if we can get there, we'll go the whole nine yards. She's not hungry, so we don't need to do food. We could start our cloud gaze. Oh, did they add TV in a patch? I feel like I don't remember seeing that one. We can also save the moment. And then why don't we go to... Let's go to the park. I really wish I would have put the blanket in her inventory first. I don't know that I've ever been to this park. But if I need to, I can add a blanket in. They get that far. It wants us to start by sharing some interests so we can discuss logic puzzles. And we will also just discuss our interests. Take a photo with him. Gavin has the writing skill. There's a bench here. We could watch the sky with Gavin. It's a little bit dark here, but maybe the flash will make up for that. I guess they're feeling a little flirty because it's on random. So they're going to watch the sky, but I guess they're going to go to a different bench to watch the sky on. Or are you going to watch the sky from the couch that's inside? 
That's hilarious. Woohoo! Already? We need to do some light physical intimacy as well. Tickle mercilessly. We'll see how he likes that. Oh, that counted? I'm good with that. Oh, we've got romance starting already. So we can talk about physical intimacy. That should be something fairly easy to do. We can share nervousness. We also just need to do some small talk. We can brighten his day and brag about our possessions a little bit. Flirting is something that we can do as well. So let's just casually flirt and compliment his appearance. I will also have her take a selfie since she needs to take a photo as well. Gavin is enjoying the date and would like to spend more time together. Perhaps you would like to extend the date to last longer? It's not even halfway over, but okay. We do need to flirt a little bit more. We will exchange numbers maybe? Bjorn must be following me. He was in the last episode too. But he like ran up and threw petals all over me. Mubna, Mubna. Oh, I also need to talk about Woohoo. Small talk. Discuss Woohoo on TV. I guess I can add a blanket. So I just added the casual red and white checkered blanket. You normally see for like picnics and movies and things like that. Gavin is enjoying the date and would like to spend more time together. After the last one, it's only a quarter of the way done. We're already almost a gold date but I don't want to upset him. So I'm just going to accept it and their romantic satisfaction began. Can we snuggle? I don't, well, they haven't had their first kiss yet. That's why Tanya's calling. It's good to hear your voice, Willow. I wanted to ask you if I should get to know Bess Sterling a little better as a friend. They seem like good company. You can have all the friends you want. Is this gonna count as light physical intimacy? Them snuggling? They also need to talk about physical intimacy. Share tips. I am curious as to like what romantic styles he enjoys. Aww. First kiss. So now that we've had the first kiss, let's be affectionate a little bit. Do I want her to like idealist sims? Why not? Woohoo in the park? He wants to extend the date again. I'm wondering if this is a bug at this point. I'm going to decline this time. We've learned his woohoo interests. I didn't realize it was red on the bottom. There's fireworks going on while they're woohooing. I wonder who lit off fireworks. They also have their own little fireworks. <laughs> That's funny. So we got a gold date already. Their hygiene's kind of low because they'd be outside. And we, we can ask him to be a romantic partner. Let's do it. This is going to be super fast. Yay. And then I'm going to have date actions, ask to change venue. We're going to go back home. Oh, it says they have a wholesome dynamic. They can have a wholesome dynamic. It'll be cute. Yay, we're home now. I'm going to try to appease the gnome. It's in a little swimsuit outfit, so I'm thinking a toy. You like the toy? Please tell me you like the toy. Yes! I did like the toy. Wonderful. And the rabbit, I'm pretty sure they like salad because salad is rabbit food. And you cannot convince me otherwise. Yep, it's the alien. This is one that I struggle with. Um, is it the future cube? I maybe even coffee. I'm gonna try to give it coffee. I've been thinking about this a lot and wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. Heck yeah. I'd love that. Click okay. Oh, he lives with a bunch of people. And they don't even have 20,000. So there's five of them. 14,000. Sucks. That's 2,800. So we're up to 70. But you are... Right now, going in the basement, you have given me the least amount of money so far. So we are going to shift, click, teleport. Why are all of his needs so green? <laughs> now, I kind of want to add a shark pond. Let's see what we can add. So I ended up spending a bit of money and at one point I accidentally deleted the floor. So I've got to teleport him back down here, but I do now have the water garden, and I want to stock it with sharks. And I also added a gate, so he was not supposed to be able to do that. 
I did have to use the move objects cheats to put it down here. Look at the sharkies. I want him to play. I do want him to um, do a flirty painting since he's feeling. Maybe I should just have it locked for everyone. And then we can unlock it occasionally. Because I don't want her accidentally dying to the sharks. So lock for everyone. That way it looks like they can get out, but they actually can't. We also need to cook a grand meal. Let's do a turkey dinner at his harvest fest. And I don't want her to have terrible holidays, so I think I'm going to get her a little decoration thing as well. It's going to go right next to the door right there, and we're going to put up decorations. You can see the little thing around the fence. Cute. I don't know that there's anything anywhere else really, but that's fine. And she is cooking her meal. So now we have Gavin. That was really fast. Once she finishes cooking this, I'll also have her... He wants to like painting. Sure, he can like painting. Maybe he'll make us multiple paintings and we'll get some money. I just told him to make a flirty painting. But after she finishes cooking this, I'm also going to have her go take a shower. And then maybe we'll see about hooking up with someone else. We'll take a steamy shower to keep up the flirty mood. Okay, she did finish it. All right, and so let's go ahead and get her set up to open Cupid's Corner. I wonder why going on a blind date was grayed out. So we're still flirty. Let's see what our matches are. We'll refresh. Caleb. Do we want to date a, uh, a vampire? Available in 12 hours. Oh, to refresh again. I mean, I guess we could. Let's just go ahead and save them. Raj is a foodie and a slob. I don't know about the slob part. We'll come back to it. Romantic genius, Edward. Why not? Manuel, don't I already have a Manuel? I do. Glutton and Freegan. Hmm, I'll pass for now. Green Fiend. Roman. Jay, who's a bro and also non-committal. He might be hard to romance being non-committal. Vegetarian and genius. Dominant. His very snobby pose. I'll go ahead and save it anyway. So, Pena didn't really work out, so I'm gonna remove him. Marcus is still an option. Another date is already in pro- Oh, I'm still on a date. I didn't even realize that. That's so funny. Maybe we'll go for Caleb next. What if I had made like a um like a little skylight above like a tiny little fence down here so when we date Caleb we can have him burn? That would be so funny. I don't know if I could do that though. I'd probably also have to put fencing up top. I want to try it. All right, it did not want to let me do it. So, did you even I don't even think you made money on that one. Go sell it. She earned 640 simoleons on her holiday. Do, like, a small classic painting. Carlos is calling. I heard you become friends with Gavin. He's pretty cool. Cool, thanks. Do I end it early? Why not? We already put him in the basement. And we got the cherished memories portrait. I wonder, since she's home, could... Go ahead and put that up on the wall. It's ready! Aw, oh, that's like Rubens with the heart. And then those two are the same. So many extra photos. I'll just go ahead and sell some of them. And then these cherished portraits that I don't need. I have two with Pena and he wouldn't even like actually date me. For selfies, I might have her keep to give people as gifts. And that one has a gnome in front of her face. I think those are fine. But now that I ended the date, I did say that I wanted her to get on Cupid's Corner and we were going to go for Caleb next. So let's ask to create a date. I wonder if we should go to the vampire world. We'll do a get to know you. No guests. I don't think I want to bother with trying to be funny. We also need to save the moment. Is there even anywhere we could go in um, Forgotten Hollow? We could go to his house. Let's go to his house. Why not? So first things first, it wants us to do some small talk. 
I wonder if we could get away with kissing his hands like pretty early on because she's feeling flirty. Also, it wants us to do some light physical intimacy. I'm gonna line up sharing some interests. Oh, did you skip it? I guess that's fine. Ask about vampire history? Woohoo already! Let's tell a dirty joke. And we can... Share photos or talk about photos? Let's share photos and maybe that'll count. If I'm wanting to do that stuff, we're gonna have to start out flirting some. So he's pretty receptive to the flirtiness, which is good. Let's compliment his appearance and maybe go for an embrace. We can ask about romantic interests. He wants to extend the date. Is this gonna be like last time? It's literally not even a fourth over. Why not? They can have their first kiss already. <laughs> That was cute. Kiss in the rain. How sweet. Let's do it. Spicy kiss in the rain. Caleb is enjoying the date and would like to keep it going. Maybe take things back to your place. He's like, I don't want to be at my house. My sister's here. Let's take it back to your place. This has actually been going so well. Caleb is apparently pretty wealthy. Yeah. But he does live with his sister, which means we're going to have to split the household funds again with him. Not my favorite, but he's so pale compared to us. He is a vampire. I didn't know he had like a purple earring. So he took a photo. We can small talk some more, but talk about physical intimacy. He ran off somewhere. Oh, the computer. Of course. We'll also need to do a little bit more small talk. And then I kind of want her to turn the vibration on and then ask him to woohoo. He's also materialistic. Makes sense. Romance. Physical intimacy. We can't woohoo yet. Steamy makeout then. Then they can flirt. Wait, it just said woohoo. Let's get the flirt done though. We're just gonna do a standard woohoo. How about that? Maybe this will get us to a gold? I hope so. Steamy. Sure, it works. Not the gnomes teleporting up here whenever they're woohooing. That's so funny. It would be so nice if, like, just after this, he's like, hey, want to move in together? He already asked to bring it back to our place. Gavin reached fitness level two. He must be swimming. And we did make gold, which is awesome. She is tired. So, yeah, I was just about to tell you to do that. Go ahead and get back to sleep. If he wants to move in, I'll say yes. If he doesn't, I'm probably going to save that for the next episode. Just because... I don't want super long episodes, and I've been doing that a lot lately, so I'd kind of like to keep them shorter. She did already complete her work tasks since today was a holiday. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, y'all!